Tries to catch it. It's gone a long way out there. Wow. Abel can't stop this, but man, it just kept flying off the blade. Yeah, it was always going to skip away from Tom Abel. Okay, let's go down pitch side to Alex. Alex, who have you got? I've got Wayne Parnell, uh, a man with a lot of responsibility for getting his team right here into the finals and not playing tonight. Wayne, first off, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm okay. Um, I think we should be talking about this um, good spell that's happening here. Fidel Edwards turning back the clock here. Um, yeah, so the game's evenly poised now, I think. Would you call this an evenly poised contest, Wayne? Um, I think, obviously, the good thing is we, we've only lost one wicket. So our batters are, are still in the shed, which is good. Um, at this particular time, I think it's one good over for us, and um, we should hopefully be over the line. I, I'm, I'm sure it's a little disappointing not to be playing in the final, but you must have been impressed by the efforts of your bowlers, particularly Mahish. Yeah, I think um, you know all our uh, bowlers throughout the competition, they've been working hard. Um, you know, Some of the guys obviously played more games than um, others, but it's, it's all about having a good squad. Um, obviously, not, uh, myself and Wahab not playing. The other guys have come in and have you know, stepped up, which is really awesome for us. It has been. That was quite an interesting contest there, wasn't it, between Nicholas Puran and Castro, or Fidel Edwards, we call him. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, Castro's been a, a very good performer for many, many years. Um, so it's nice to see him bowling quick. Um, and it's actually nice for the, for the fast bowlers to actually start doing well as well. Yeah, the bowlers have been really impressive in this tournament, considering it's considered a, a format for the batsmen. Yeah, I've, I mean we've we've seen that um, you know on, on occasion we can get smashed, but um, every every time that a fast bowler, not just from our team, from the other teams, have done well, I've kind of had a, a mini celebration. Yeah, Wayne, we loved your hat trick. Are you going to look back on it fondly? Yeah, um, it was obviously really nice, uh, really special. I think it's um, something that will stay with me for for the rest of my career. Um, in this format, it's very up and down. Some days you're the hero and the next day you're zero, basically. But um, yeah, finals now and uh, we're looking forward to the, the rest of the match. I know, I know you're looking forward to maybe raising that trophy at the end of the night. What's next for Wayne Parnell? Uh, so just back home um, and we'll, we'll see what the next couple of months um, has in store for me. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. Thanks for chatting. Thank back you. upstairs, guys. Thank you, Alex Jordan. Glowing nicely and excited down their sideline. AJ out of Barbados right. one of her favourite cricketers she says she loves Chris Jordan of course loves the West Indians likes Wayne Parnell she appreciates his ability personality Chris Jordan well he's from Barbados now he plays for England a multicultural planet isn't it <laughs> anyway here's Fidel Edwards oh he's lost the radar there yeah good take that down the leg yeah good work by Gervaz never easy when the big quick bowler 145 150 bowls a big fully down leg you got to skip smartly yeah good feet gets his head nice and close to the ball good gather yeah good work by the keeper tough work out there young man 50 required now by the Warriors to lift the trophy 50 from 20 sorry from 38 Getting ahead of ourselves Getting excited <laughs> Couple to go because of the wide just bowled by Edwards. Oh, don't bother running in. Mohamed Wasi stands tall and strong. Four more. Mm, full. There to drive. The man in Mohamed Wasim's form is not going to miss out. He's been very, very watchful so far. Yeah, Fidel gets it wrong. Gets it too full. That's an Irving counter. A low scoring thriller. Yeah, it be interesting to see now. A wicket or two. The Warriors say, well, 42 43 for three. Very interesting. Knock over these two. Robman Powell and Co. Have to do a job. Yeah. Sensible and solid there. Mohamed Wasim will keep the strike. A dozen off the fourth. And the Warriors are 37 for one here. Hey, Shurito Lakuri, I think I don't